Hey everybody, Dr. Daniel Choi here from North Texas Dental Surgery. Today I wanted to create a video about a patient that came in that was told that if he got this wisdom teeth removed that he wouldn't be able to feel his side of his face anymore and that he wouldn't be able to talk properly. So what I want to do is I want to show you real quickly his um, x-ray and also his 3D scan and why I told him that why this was happening or what he was told was actually not accurate. Now this was this patient's two-dimensional panoramic radiograph that we typically like to take before we examine and consult a patient before taking out their wisdom teeth. First thing that I see is that the wisdom teeth back here are basically very either super entangled or superimposed upon the nerve here. And the nerve in question is what we call the inferior alveolar nerve. As you can see, it is this dark area that we can trace out right here and you have this nerve on both sides of your jaw. The function of this nerve is to basically innervate the teeth and also the lips and also the chin area on each respective side. So that's what the main um, function is of this nerve. Again, it is a sensory nerve. It is not a motor nerve, meaning that it does not move anything. It is literally just a sensory nerve that helps us to know what's going on with our teeth, to feel any changes in our teeth, to also be able to feel um, any thing on our lips and our chin. So whenever we're taking out wisdom teeth, we're always worried about damage to this inferior alveolar nerve. And as we take a look here, again, with this two-dimensional radiograph, it is almost impossible to tell how close this is to the nerve because again, this is a two-dimensional radiograph and the roots are superimposed over this. Now, what I then refer to over it is this two-dimensional, I mean, this three-dimensional X-ray. And this is what we call the 3D C CT scan, okay? The CBCT scan in dentistry. So what I do is I have to evaluate and I take a look and I can now see in that third dimension of where the nerve is. And it is this area of dark. And as I'm looking right here, I can see that this nerve is pretty close to the roots, um, but it is not like weaving through or anything like that. So um, although it is very close and, you know, I like to always um, un, um, over, um, under promise and over deliver. Um, I would tell this patient, although I've, you know, I've done like 10,000 cases of wisdom teeth in my career, that when I look at a case like this and I see the proximity of that nerve to the roots, I'd say, hey, maybe 10% 20% chance that you might get some sort of paresthesia after you get your wisdom teeth out, meaning um, that you're going to get some tingling or numbness on your lips, whether it lasts for a few days or maybe it could even last up to a few weeks. Or, you know, worst case scenario, I'm supposed to tell you months or your life. Now, realistically, um, from experience and being in practice, based off of what I see on this patient's x-rays, again, I would say maybe 20% chance that you're going to get some sort of tingling or numbness for a little period um, after you get your wisdom teeth removed. But um, realistically, if this was my mouth, how long would I expect to be numb if that was the case? I'd say the overall percentage is, is maybe 5 to 10% chance and that it might last for a few days to a few weeks. That's realistically what I saw. So um, when this patient was being told by their dentist and he had visited multiple dentists who again had told him that he would not be able to feel his whole side of that face and that he wouldn't be able to talk properly after this. Um, I'm not exactly sure that these um, people that he had seen earlier knew exactly what they were talking about. Um, another thing that concerns me also is I asked him specifically, did any of these other dentists show you this 3D scan before giving you this advice or telling you the likelihood of uh, potential nerve damage or paresthesia as uh, we call it in dentistry? Um, so he said no, he had never seen this type of um, you know x-ray, which is actually a 3D scan. Um, he'd never seen this before. So. You know, my advice is if you're getting your wisdom teeth removed and, you know, unless these wisdom teeth are very clear from the nerve, but even with, you know, my extensive experience, I would not remove any sets of wisdom teeth anymore without um, a patient having a 3D scan. Had I removed wisdom teeth in the past before um, getting a hold of a 3D scan? Absolutely. But experience has taught me um, just so many different variations with, with anatomy, with different people, that you want every bit of knowledge that you possibly can have 
before getting your wisdom teeth removed. We have certain cases where the jawbone, for example, under here would be sig significantly undercut, or the nerve is not where you perceive it to be based off of this two-dimensional x-ray. So this 3D scan just gives us so much more extra information that, again, if it's my mouth or, you know, in fact, for any of our patients' mouths, um, the, the proper um, protocol would be to have a 3D scan for every patient. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. Um, just to make sure, again, before you get your wisdom teeth removed, you always want to have that 3D scan taken so that we can tell you exactly what to expect for your surgery and afterwards and any potential complications that you may experience. So if you're going to get your wisdom teeth removed, make sure you again have that 3D scan and best of luck on your journey. Thanks. Take care.